Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $94,432.59. In the past year I am up $33,389.45. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $7,242.13. Today was a green day for me. During the day, I was up $591.57. After hours, I am up $427.41. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $1,212. I'm selling Disney $120 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $78. I'm selling Robinhood $16 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return. I am down $2,224. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $755. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $588. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $298.20. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $150. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $66. I'm selling Starbucks $75 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $80. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $181.78. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $24,852.74. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.88. My average cost, $5.62. Total return, $7,540.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $102.35. My average cost, $60. Total return, $12,705. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at 21. Robinhood is at $21.28. My average cost, $17.53. Total return $3,755. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $26.15. My average cost $28.03. Total return I am down $940. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $176.36. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $3,380. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $62.05. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $870. I have 200 shares of Verizon. 
Verizon is at $39.31. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $0.10. Cents. And lastly, I have 100 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $77.36. My average cost, $78.63. Total return, I am down $127. This is a margin account. My margin total is $111,732.34. My margin used is $105,000. $556.44, which leaves me with $6,175.90 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $42,579.40. That's how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $17.51 and I am borrowing $2,000 interest-free. Today, I made a change in my portfolio. I usually don't do anything in my portfolio. However, I actually bought a new position today, and that is Starbucks. I didn't have this before, but now I have 100 shares of Starbucks. I bought this today, and as you can see, it went down during the day. I already lost over $100 but it's okay. I think over the long run, my shares combined with my covered call, I'll end up on top. We'll see. But I'm also selling the Starbucks $75 covered call. This is an in the money covered call because the strike price of $75 is below the current price of $77.38. So it's already below the current price. So I just really want to get some premium. I don't really want to keep this long term. At least I'm not that desperate to. Of course, if I end up keeping it long term and it falls below $75 by the expiration date and I end up keeping the shares, I'm fine with that too. It doesn't matter either way to me. But yeah, that's the new play that I made today. And Something else I want to talk about is Robinhood. They announced, I think, a buyback. Where is this? Here we go. So here's an article from Yahoo Finance. Robinhood jumps on plan to buy back up to $1 billion of shares. Robinhood markets jumped after the retail brokerage announced a plan to repurchase as much as $1 billion of its own shares. The firm expects the buyback program to kick off in the third quarter and take place over a two to three year period, it said Tuesday in a filing. Shares in Robinhood jumped as much as 7.4% in late New York trading after the company said its board approved the repurchase plan. Robinhood outlined the program as its business and cash flow have continued to grow. Chief Financial Officer Jason Warnick said in a blog post, Robinhood is seeking to expand its offerings beyond the retail brokerage services and commission-free trading that made the company a household name. Early last year, the Menlo Park, California-based firm announced a retirement product and in March, it outlined a plan to roll out a credit card to U.S. consumers as it looks to become a broader financial services company. So. I'm happy that they're doing this. They're sort of becoming like SoFi in that SoFi is like a one-stop shop. It's got a credit card. It's got a checking account, savings account, all kinds of stuff, personal loans. Now I can see Robinhood eventually getting to the point where they're offering so many different types of services. Now what I didn't like was that I read in an article that you actually had to download a separate app for their credit card. And I hate that. I want them to make everything centralized into one Robinhood app. That way, all of their products that they're planning to release, like credit cards, retirement accounts, whatever. Hopefully they release a checking account soon. So 
I can put my direct deposits into there. But yeah, I'm looking forward to everything that Robinhood is planning to release in the future. But it looks like people are very confident in how Robinhood will perform in the future because after hours, they're up 3.96%. Pretty good sign for people's sentiment for how this will perform. However, it is still very expensive for what it is. Although now that it's up to $21 per share, I'm thinking again that I might change this to at least an $18 strike price up for my $16 strike price. Yeah, other than that, I don't have any other big plans at the moment. If I do make any more changes or if I'm planning to do anything else, I'll let you guys know. But for now, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be making more updates in the future. So if you guys want to see more, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.